Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD 2017 tutorial video. Uh, in this video today we're going to be looking uh, at rectangular arrays. So let's start a new drawing. And let's create a rectangular array. So uh, we'll zoom all to get to the limits of our drawing. Uh, so let's create uh, a rectangle. Now let's make the dimensions of this rectangle. Let's make it... Um, let's say 15 mil by 10 mil there's our little teeny weeny rectangle there that we've created and we'll pop it there now on this rectangle uh, I want to uh, chamfer the edges which I could have done when I created it uh, but again it doesn't hurt so I'll, uh, I'll chamfer the edges on this uh, so the chamfer is going to be pretty small um, uh, we're just going to make it uh, I'm going to make it pretty small. We'll make it just, what we make that 10 by 15. So let's make these uh, 2 by 2. Uh, and I want to do all sides of this. So select multiple. That one to that one. That one to that one. That one to that one. And that one to that one. So that's uh, our shape. Now let's say we want to repeat this shape uh, across uh, several different spaces. Uh, but all evenly spaced. Uh, and evenly uh, distributed. So we go to our array button, select rectangular array. It's asking us to select our objects. So this is the object that we want to array. So we've selected that, now we hit space. And again, we've gone straight to the default settings uh, that AutoCAD uses uh, for an array. So we can see here that we've got four columns. So one, two, three, four. And we've got three rows, one, two, three, like that. So we can change this. We could set this to say, uh, I want to have six columns. Uh, so six columns, uh, and we've we've doubled the amount of columns there. Uh, sorry, added two uh, to that. Uh, let's say that we want to have five rows like that. So select five and hit enter. And we've now expanded that. So it's a six by five array. Uh, the distance between is currently set to 22.5. So this is the distance between the columns. So this is the distance in the X direction. So let's change that. I want that set to, again, 30. So we've expanded uh, the columns. Uh, and I want the rows uh, to be uh, a little bit further apart as well. I want those to be 20. So again, we've expanded uh, that to that size. So that is uh, our rectangular arrays there. Uh, again, you can change the totals, which will change the between value. Uh, and vice versa. Notice we've also got here levels. Okay, uh, this will come in useful when we start looking uh, at 3D CAD. Uh, at the moment, if we change this to uh, to any number, you won't see a difference because we're looking down on it from above. Just to demonstrate that, let's change that to uh, four. Uh, enter. Notice there was just a very slight thickening of the lines there because what that's done is it's indicated that actually we've created. Uh, layers on top of this but we, we can't see this at the moment uh, so it's impossible to, to know that so again if I change that to 10 uh, just to illustrate the point you're not seeing any change if however uh, we went to this view you can see there that actually uh, there is something more going on that's where our levels are so that's when we start looking at expanding into the Z axis uh, but at the moment you you can't see that, so we'll just uh, we'll just set that to one. And as you can see, all it's done is just very slightly lessened the thickness, the apparent thickness uh, of those lines there. Uh, so that's what we're looking at uh, for the rectangular array. So what you'll notice now is that I've uh, closed the array uh, and then uh, reopened it again uh, by clicking on it, double clicking on it. Uh, and now what we can do is there's a few more options here so uh, we can uh, this is quite a useful one we can edit the source so if we select edit source uh, so we're going to edit the source okay what happens now is when I select this one uh, and if you watch carefully if I move uh, this point here it will move it on all of those so if I change that in some way it changes all of them so if I select that one I'm happy with that. You can see that now it's edited uh, all of those uh, uh, array items uh, based on 
uh, this source one so that's just a, a useful little thing that you can do uh, when you're working with arrays good so uh, that is uh, some of the ways that you can work with arrays uh, I hope this video has been useful to you uh, and I look forward to seeing you uh, on the next video thank you very much goodbye